Hey, hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I'm going to look at another example of dummy variables in regression. Here we've got data on crude birth rate changes for 20 Latin American countries. The DV is the crude CBR change, crude birth rate change. And the IVs, and the two of them, setting which is the social setting, which is an index of um, development in the country, and higher the number, the higher the social setting. And the other IV is effort, effort placed into family planning, and that is also an index, higher the value, that means more effort has been placed into family planning. Now we can see that both IVs are continuous, because on a scale. What we want to do is we want to change it, these two IVs now, into categorical variables. We want to just change setting into we'll change setting into low, medium, and high, and effort into weak, moderate, and strong. And we're going to arbitrarily cut off values like so. So for setting, we're going to create a new variable called G setting, where it's low setting if the setting is below 70, medium setting if it's between 70 and 79. 9, high if it's greater than 80. Effort will create a new variable called G effort for grouped effort, which is going to be classified as weak if it's if the effort is less than 4, moderate if it's between 15 and 14, strong if it's greater than 15. Now I'm going to do this by using the cut command as follows. So for G setting, the cut command, that's saying for my data file, and in that data file looking at the variable setting here, I'm going to break it up so that the first category will have values between 0, not, not including 0, to 69, the upper value, inclusive, and then between 69, not including that, in other words, from 70 to 79 inclusive, that would be the second group. And then the final group is 80 to 100. That 100 there is just any number which is biggest number along here, or bigger than any of these numbers, the maximum number in the setting. So could have selected another number for 100 there. And we'll label it as follows. The first group using this com combine command. The first group is called low, second group medium, third is high within these speech marks. Enter. Similarly we can do the same for effort. Alright, so effort. So again use the cut command. Now, the first group is up to four and why I've got minus one here is because lowest value of effort is zero but I can't put from zero because it's not including zero okay so I've decided to retweak it so we can't include zero because it's the value is from if I put zero instead of minus one it'd be from the interval zero but not including zero i.e. bigger than zero to four inclusive of four so I put minus 1 instead, so this is saying bigger than minus 1, up to 4 inclusive. Then the second group will be from bigger than 4 to 14 inclusive, and the final group will be bigger than 15 to 30 inclusive. And we'll label these groups respectively weak, moderate, and strong. Now if we type in G effort, we'll see a list of each country like this. However, it's nice if we can juxtapose the two so we can see it in the data set. So we can use that by using joining it up in the data frame. So let's call it CBR2 equals data.frame is the command. Data.frame CBR and then the things that we've just created G setting G effort type in CBR2 we can see it like this now 
So we can see that we've created two new variables which are categorical. Bolivia is low social setting and weak effort into family planning correspond to these numbers here, how we've kind of um, split, uh, cut, um, categorized them. Okay, so I now want to regress CBR change on these two categorical IVs. Now, recall that one of the advantages of R is that when it sees texts like this instead of numbers, it'll automatically treat these IVs as though they were categorical and hence it will create automatically dummy variables for you. So if I just run the usual regression and just put these G setting plus G effort in there now, so I'm running a multiple regression model, comma data CBR to tell it that I am running on the this data set CBR. Instead of typing data equals CBR, I could have attached it first. Okay. But this is better to work with if we've got several data sets open. So it's good practice just to get a habit of using this. Type that and then look at the summary of the regression. There. Now here I'm more interested in interpreting these coefficients rather than looking at the t values, although you look at the t statistics as well. Now from this output here on the coefficients, we can write down the fitted model, or the estimated model. So here's the intercept, coefficient on medium, setting, high setting, moderate, and effort, and strong effort. Right, I want to show you how we interpret the coefficients. Notice that First of all, the setting was split into three groups. But where is the low, medium, and high? So it's split into low, medium, high. But where is low gone? Low has gone because recall that one of the rules of dummy variables is that if you've got k groups, you set up k minus 1 dummies. So setting has three groups, k is three, so we just need two sets of dummies. The thing left out is called the reference category. Here, the thing left out is, is the low group and then the coefficients on the remaining dummies will be comparing the, that, this group to the thing being left out. So for medium, the figure is minus 1.68, the dummy, the dummy on, me, on uh, setting for the medium level is minus 1.68 and that says that for a country with medium setting has a lower CBR change compared to low setting by 1.68 holding everything else fixed and a country which has high s setting compared to low setting has a higher CBR change by 2.39 holding everything else fixed likewise for effort uh, effort was split into weak moderate and strong weak has been left out, that is the reference category. So for this coefficient of 3.84 moderate effort is interpreted as that country with moderate effort has a higher CBR change compared to the weak effort by 3.84 and strong relative to weak has a higher CBR change by 20.7 holding everything else fixed. Now, <coughs> we can use this to predict the CBR change of a country. Say we have a country with a low setting and, so let's write this down, low setting and say weak effort. Then low setting means that the dummy variable on medium is zero because dummy variable medium is one if it's medium zero if it's not medium so if you're low you're definitely not medium likewise for high 
the high value for that country, the high dummy variable, will also be zero. In other words, these will be both be zero. And if your country is weak effort, then the moderate dummy will be zero for that country, and strong will be zero because you're not, you're you're not strong country, you're not strong, and you're not moderate. In other words, what we left is five point three eight. So the model predicts that the CBR change for a country with a low setting and weak effort is 5.38. Pick one more setting. I say uh, we've got medium setting, weak effort. So CBR change here will be 5.38 minus. Now, medium setting, so that dummy variable will take the value 1 because you're in the medium group. So it will be 5.38 minus 1.68. Uh, high will be zero because you're not in the high group. Moderate, you're not in the moderate group. Strong, you're not in the strong group. So in other words, the answer will be 5.38 minus 1.68, which comes to 3.7. We've got 20 countries, and I would do the computation for us for each country if we use the fitted command. So for the object that we created, the regression object, which is called reg, and in that object we find the fitted values, <coughs> write those down. Here you go. So the first country being Bolivia, 5.37, predicted CBR change. Second country is that. Third country, blah, 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 like that, so on. Okay, so we've got the fitted. It would be nice if we can put this fitted alongside our data set so we can actually look, compare things easier. So I can do this is create a new data set using data frame combining CBR2 with the fitted values from the regression. And this is what we have. So we said that for Bolivia, which has a low setting and a weak effort, fitted value was 5.378 which I showed you how to get a second country Brazil similarly so on now you can see that some of these numbers are repeated for example Bolivia 5.37 5.37 is uh, Haiti 5.37 Nicaragua why because all these countries have low setting and weak effort suppose I wanted to extract all those countries with uh, from this data set low setting and weak effort I can use the subset command so I use the subset of the data set say CBR effort less than um, was it less than 4 is weak and a setting less than 70 was low C. So once we type that, it extracts from the data set those countries which fulfill this requirement that of low effort and uh, weak setting. Or should I say weak effort and low setting? Alternatively, we can work with the data, the new data set we've created using the labels instead of numbers, like so. So again, it extracts the subset from the main data set. Those countries will fulfill the requirement that the effort is weak and the setting is low. To finish, one other thing worth showing you is the t apply command or table apply command. So what we're applying is to the values here, the reg from regression, the fitted values, which I showed you what that means. Uh, we're going to list out all these values across across these various um, levels, and we're looking at the mean values. Oh, sorry, not called reg to its reg. Here you go. So. If you are a low country and you're weak, then the mean value is 5.377. So how do we get the mean value? Well, because if we look at the subset here of all those countries that fulfill that requirement, all the 
wedge fitted. These are the values. Take the average of that. Well, it's 5.37. And it will be the same for all these other cells. In fact, I don't have to really take the average because I know that just plugging it into the formula like I showed you earlier here will give us the result. Now, you might be thinking, why have we got not applicable there under low, low uh, setting, under strong effort? Because we can certainly predict what that is. Low setting, so these two disappear, and strong effort, so it will be 20.7 plus 5.38. It's because of this. If we look at the subset of G effort, which is list the countries where the effort is strong and the setting is low, there aren't any. And that's why, or well, theoretically, we can obtain the value for this. It says not applicable because there are not any countries that fulfill that requirement. Okay, so that brings the end today of uh, dummy variable session. Hope you found that useful.